So, just uh, I'm looking up from manual and Honda. So, pretty much price range. So let's just let's just look up Honda because I was looking for specifically Hondas. This shell's been on here for a while too. This is maybe the second month it's been here. Um, I had a EG uh, hatchback shell that I got for only a few hundred a few months back and part of that out and the shell is not worth 450 bucks in my opinion um, parting it out is where it's at um, I think that's maybe worth like 350 300 whatever um, you know this there's a lot of other body uh, better bodies out there um, the guy didn't even include any pictures of the rust and you know there's rust on these Hondas so stay away from that shit um, this is interesting because I was looking for Honda Del Sol specifically because I saw the Chris Fix video recently um, and I couldn't find one for like a month and right after I buy this Accord what do you know this pops up and 600 fucking miles on the body uh, you know this highlight right there it's not it's not super fucking rare uh, it's a nice car you don't see them often but 600 goddamn miles on the body uh, that's that's a lot um, guy doesn't even know what, what engine he has in it, you know, could easily talk this guy down, doesn't know the engine in it, high fucking miles, you know, nice little car, you can learn some stuff on it, and good title too, so that, that's good if you could get him down way below half what he's asking, <laughs> so, actually, this is the, what I got, this is what I bought, this is the ad, it's still up, not deleted, um, so it was 800 bucks originally, obviously. It was updated 20 days ago. So by the time he put it up and I bought it, they left it outside their shop, I guess, and someone came by and went below it and unbolted the catalytic converter and left. So it's loud as all hell. They didn't put it in here. So when I texted the guy, I was already anticipating to talk him down. And he immediately goes, just 500 bucks or less, you know, basically because... There's no catalytic converter on it anymore either, so that helped. Um, but yeah, as you can notice, there's still snow, so it's been out here for a while. Nobody's touched it for a while. Um, well, I mean, like in terms of buying it, um, it was one of the mechanics' daily drivers for a while. Um, so yeah, uh, as you'll notice on the paint, there was. It looks kind of like it might be rusty on the fender right there. That's just a reflection of the trees. Um, so, yeah, needs, needs some stuff, but, you know, yeah, the AC, uh, which you put in there, yeah, no, it doesn't work, it <laughs> doesn't work, so, but, uh, whatever, windows, I mean, you don't really need AC, just put the fucking windows down, this also, this is also kind of interesting, um, don't think it's worth 850 bucks, this thing's worth maybe like 400, 300 bucks, um, I get it, everybody in the, in the cities and the suburbs, they all want the fucking, the 90s, the mid 90s Hondas, the EJs, the AH, EGs, EJ, whatever. They all want them. Um, but, yeah, no, that, you can get a better, better body, better shape one for that, for 850 bucks. But, so yeah, good listing. Um, has a lot of information. You know, look for something that has a lot of information. I prefer a cell phone. Don't, don't, if they have the Craigslist email thing that you apply to and it's like a, a middleman between you and their personal email, yeah, just don't deal with it. Usually, they don't reply. I've never had anybody actually fucking reply to that. So, uh, so this is this is what I got, and this is how it kind of was when we showed up to actually buy the car. We drove my Sabru up to Oxford, Mass. Saw the car um, outside, right in the parking lot. Went out to merely just go check it out. Uh, yeah, they're trying to air it out, I think, because of the slight cigarette and mildew smell, but whatever, it's 150 bucks. Don't really care too much, put an air fresher in it. Um, so, yeah, we basically, I talked the guy down 450 because of the tire condition and because, you know, what was coming with it. Um, no real major issues, engine was fine, ran fine, good tires, and if I need to sell the doors and the tires, I can make my money back, so... 450 was a good price. Um, talking down 50 bucks, I said I needed to put gas back in my Asabru 
and in my Honda to get it back, so he was all good with that. Um, so, basically, when I got back to to my town, I was test driving around after my friend left, and so I put this fucking, <laughs> this thing on back so that everybody would stop honking at me whenever I stalled. Um, so yeah, when he drove it back, uh, we passed four, four state officers, Massachusetts state officers, nobody, none of them were running plates or whatever, and none of them cared, um, so that, that, we're grateful because of that, they would have, they would have noticed that, hey, uh, it says it's a red Saab, but how come it's a fucking red Honda, and then, what do you know, right behind it, 20 feet back is me in a red Saab with the exact same plate, so, that could have been a big fine, in pound whatever and I've already had two tickets and my state of you know, Connecticut two tickets in three years um, under 21 uh, yeah, two tickets you had to take a re-education class on it or whatever and one ticket after that suspended license you're basically screwed and pay a lot of money so so grateful <laughs> nothing happened and, I, and I've already gotten my two other tickets so that's why uh, that's why I'm on edge because I, if I get a third I'm fucked so that's about it Hope you guys have your own good luck with buying a cheap-ass car. Uh, have a good one.